Hi everyone, I've got another package opening today. I seem to have a lot of packages lately. I don't know how that happened, but this is an exciting package because it is my Blythe that I'm going to customize. It's a factory Blythe, so it's made of pieces of actual Blythe, but um, like not necessarily from the same year. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous because of the way it's packaged. Um, it, it seems like while it was a good price because it's a factory Blythe, it should have been packaged better because I'm worried that it's going to be damaged, but hopefully it's not and it'll be fine. So let's get this package opening underway. Um, one of the reasons why I decided to go with a factory Blythe is because it's my first customizing experience and I did not want to totally ruin a like $200 or more doll. So this one was for $50 for just the, um, I believe it was 50 for the basic doll. And I'm going to be switching out the body anyway. So, because I prefer the A-Zone bodies. Um, so I figured, well, if I'm going to be changing it that much, it shouldn't matter if it's a specific Blythe. So, I'm going to continue doing this. It's a little bit hard with one hand. Here we go. All right, let's see how she is. Oh yeah, and I got her. Okay, that's cute. Here she, here she is. She seems okay so far. And as you can see, she doesn't come with hair or anything. But she does come with the eye mechanism and um, eye chips. She comes with the Life doll body. And I'm going to be rooting uh, a wig for her. So I'm going to take her out of the noisy plastic and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is interesting. It looks like they gave me white skin body and head cap, but a normal skin um, head. So that's interesting, but that's okay because I'm planning on replacing the body anyway. And I do happen to have a white skin Blythe head if I wanted to switch out the A-Zone body or something to give her a Blythe body. I could. Uh, I'm not going to, but I could. <laughs> um, let's take this off. She seems like she is not damaged. I don't see any cracks or anything. Um, let's undo this part. Okay, so and there's her little pull string. Now, uh, it's going to be pretty ambitious of me here since I know absolutely nothing about Blythe's necessarily. Uh, the inner mechanism for their eyes and all of that and doing an extra pull string, but I'm hoping to learn a lot in the process and we'll see how it goes. And we're back. My daughter, Emma, is here helping. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> She's my little camera girl. And I'm going to show you what the eyes look like. So she's got some blue ones, blue gray, and then she's got some deep blue, sapphire eyes, and some green. I really like the green ones. Pretty, yeah. And then back to the brown. So that's fun. Uh, the, this eye mechanism is much easier than the custom Blythe that I have. I have a lot of trouble trying to switch her eyes. So hopefully working These with this one. Eyes. Yeah, hopefully working with this eye mechanism and opening her up and learning, uh, I will find out what I can do to make that a little bit easier. So anyway, and now that I'm looking at her, well, first of all, she has pierced ears, so that's fun. And she kind of looks like she has that transparent kind of skin, which is mm -hmm. cool because I actually did want that, but they said they were sold out. So that'll be fun. I think it'll be interesting to see how that turns out as I'm customizing her. So, and the Blythe body is really interesting too. Very um, soft rubber. 
yeah. and uh, not as posable, of course, as the A zone, but still very charming. So anyway, she looks perfect and ready to be customized. I'm very excited and I look forward to sharing my progress with you. I have one more thing from this seller that I want to show you and I will get that right now. All of this was brought to you by Doll Wig DIY uh, on Etsy. They gave me these cute little extras. And then mm -hmm. here, I bought these shoes for Opal because she is the big sister of the White Rabbit and they are rabbit shoes. So I'm gonna try them on her and show you in a moment. And we are back with Opal's feet and her brand new little shoesies. So they look like they have ears. Yeah. They're supposed to look like little bunny rabbits. So. Oh, and they have a bow and a uh -huh. little tail in the back. Yeah, and they had different colors, and it was just so adorable. So I'm going to try these on her. I hope I can do it on camera. If not, then not. But yeah. I really hope I don't have to undo those tiny buckles. Because <laughs> they're really hard to put on. Yeah, my fingers kind of get in the way. If, if if it would help, I could help. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I think I got it. Yeah, that that really looks pretty on Opal. Mm -hmm. So here we go. And look how cute those are. Very adorable little bunny shoes for the bunny rabbit that she is. And I will show you a full shot of her next. And there she is with her brand new little shoes that are so fitting for her. Her little Alice in Wonderland book and key and her new Railkin corset. And she's just looking pretty adorable. So anyway, here she is. Here's my new Blythe that I'm going to customize. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I look forward to updating you with all of the fun Blythe things that are coming our way.